Hello, this is Travis from Nerds with Mics. How are you guys doing? Uh, today I wanted to actually just do an unboxing for you guys um, on a product that I'm really excited to talk about. Um, it's the uh, Linksys Velop uh, home Wi-Fi system. It's one of the new uh, mesh Wi-Fi systems. Um, I'm not going to review it today uh, as of yet, but I am going to do an unboxing video and just kind of tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, so stay tuned. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at the Linksys Velop. I just wanted to do an unboxing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So I'm pretty excited about, uh, about this new router uh, or home Wi-Fi mesh system. Um, as you guys can tell, I got the one that comes with the three, uh, the three nodes. Uh, now what's a little different uh, with this as opposed to some of the other ones is... Um, you know, I have the Linksys EA9500, which is their monster of a uh, wireless uh, home router. Um, but some of the problems that you might run into is it might be stellar when you're close to the router. Um, however, when you get away from your router, you'll notice a difference in speeds. Uh, what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to give you a consistent Wi-Fi speed throughout your entire home, regardless if you're standing in front of it or if you're on the other end of the house. So let's go ahead and open this up. Packaging seems to be really nice. Uh, it's one of the things that I kind of picked up on immediately. All right. Um, all right. So these are the nodes here. Uh, each one of these um, are capable of covering up to 2,000 square feet. Um, now, each one of these are identical with each other. Um, so, you know, you don't have to worry about which one goes where. Each one of these has the exact same technology built in. I believe it also has uh, 4 gigs of flash storage, 512 megabytes of memory built into each one of these. Um, and what you're going to notice as well, I'm going to go ahead and take this plastic off, is that on the bottom of the bottom there, uh, you're going to notice that there's two Ethernet ports. Uh, one great thing about that, uh, obviously any of these um, can be hooked into your modem, uh, but they give you an extra Ethernet cable in case you want to hook up a Ethernet switch. Um, so if you have a bunch of devices that you want to have hardwired, uh, you're able to actually uh, still be able to do that. Uh, one of the other things you may notice is at the bottom there, there's actually a reset button. So long gone is the having to find a pin small enough or a, a paper clip to reset this. So that makes it really convenient and nice. Um, I actually bought um, the TP-Link um, 8 gigabit switch. Uh, I think it was maybe 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, so... You know, that's one of the things that I'm going to actually use because I prefer to have everything hardwired if I can. Uh, it also comes with a quick setup guide. Now, what's nice about the quick setup guide is you can literally, um, with this, it tells you to basically download the Linksys app. Uh, and what's great about that is you can literally set this thing up start to finish uh, using just the app on your phone, which makes it really convenient and really easy uh, to set up. Um, one of the things that you're also going to notice is that on the top of this, um, each one of these has a little a little button here. Uh, it's not necessarily a button, kind of looks like a button, but this actually lights up different colors. It's an LED inside of here, and it lights up different colors to let you know what the status of your network is. Um, so that's kind of convenient and kind of a nice touch. Uh, also in the box, what you're going to notice, there is a flat Ethernet cable. Now, it's only going to come with one Ethernet cable just for the mere fact that this is the one that you would want to run to your modem uh, if you don't already have, obviously, uh, an Ethernet cable. Plus, it's white, it's flat, it's easy to conceal with this. Uh, so, it's just a nice touch from Linksys to be able to go ahead and include that in the box as well. Um, all right, so you got a, a Linksys uh, Velop sticker. I don't really necessarily know why you would need that, but there's that. Uh, now, one of the big complaints that I heard about um, that I read and seen videos on online is the size of these power bricks. Look at the size of that. That is a huge, huge power brick. Uh, that was really the only complaint I heard about these things is that if you're putting this into a power strip, uh, it's going to take up possibly two spots for you to be able to plug in stuff. So uh, that's one of the things that you may want to take into account based on where you're putting these as well. Um, so we got three of those of course um, um, now from what I read online uh, and from what I've kind of looked at I haven't done any initial testing uh, myself uh, it looks like that's pretty much everything that comes in the box um, but what I've read is that uh, I've seen some speed tests against this versus the e, uh, EA9500 which is their big like 8 antenna router um, and the speeds were more consistent with this um, but also showed a little bit signs of uh, faster speeds as well um, 
Now they tout that this is AC6600, which the EA9500 links this is, um, is uh, I think it's um, 5400, obviously, uh, AC. However, uh, the reason they get this is because each of these uh, is AC2200. So if you add that together, you get AC6600, obviously. Um, one of the things that I also noticed about it is that um, you don't necessarily have to use all three of these. Say for some odd reason you really like the idea of these, but you may not necessarily need three right out of the gate. Uh, if you choose to just use two, you can. Um, or you can just go ahead and use all three of them. Um, you know, the, the app is going to ensure that it's easy for you to set up, but also allows you to maintain with software updates and all that stuff. Uh, you can also set up port forwarding. Um, now, when it comes to range, I've noticed that the Google Wi-Fi, the Eero, and the uh, Aura system, they all range in um, distance. So those range anywhere. Each each module or each nod, if you, uh, node, if you will, adds about 1,000 square feet. With the Linksys uh, Velop, these actually are, add 2,000 square feet per every one you add, uh, giving you a total coverage of 6,000 square feet, which is phenomenal. Um, I don't. I live in about a, I want to say maybe a 1,400 square foot house uh, with a basement that we're getting ready to finish. Um, you know, but I want to make sure that we're well covered. Um, so that's why I went ahead and went with this system. Uh, it looks very promising. A lot of the things that I read online says that uh, it's the Wi-Fi system that everybody should have. Um, one area, though, that I've noticed that Develop may not have the competitive edge is with pricing. Uh, pricing with this um, is four ninety nine for the three module system. I believe it's three fifty for the two module system, the two node system, and I think it's one ninety nine for uh, if you're buying just one by itself. Um, now, one of the things that I do really like about this is you're going to notice that. On the sides of these, it, there's a small cut out of the corner. Now, what that's going to allow you to do is to be able to put your cord through it and be able to set it flat and still have a, a cable management system. Um, one of the biggest reasons that I like the idea of how simplistic this looks is that it just kind of blends in with the rest of the things in your home, which is phenomenal. Uh, one of my biggest complaints uh, about the router I currently have is uh, it's sitting on our entertainment center, and it literally looks like a spider. My wife absolutely hates it. Uh, but with these, you're able to put them throughout the house, and you know they're not going to be an eyesore. Um, one of the other cool features with this is... Um, they're actually releasing an update that adds a skill. If you have an Amazon Echo, uh, it adds a skill to that that allows you to be able to ask it um, to turn the Wi-Fi, uh, the guest Wi-Fi on and off. So if you don't want to have a guest Wi-Fi on all the time, uh, it gives you that ability. And it also gives you the ability to read the, the security credentials off uh, for connecting to Wi-Fi. So if you have somebody come over uh, or if you just can't simply remember the Wi-Fi password, you know your Alexa uh, will actually read that off to you as well. Um, I plan on doing a follow-up video to kind of let you know initial thoughts. I haven't actually got them hooked up yet or got to try them, um, but I'm anxious to see how well these do versus um, the Linksys E9500 that I have. Um, so uh, stay tuned. I appreciate you guys um, coming and checking this out. Uh, and also, in a, uh, also, feel free to give any feedback, ask any questions around this video. Uh, like us at Nerds at Mics, we're still new to this, um, so we're trying to grow in any way possible, and your feedback is crucial to that. So, uh, guys, once again, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure to check out um, our Nerds with Mics podcast and also our affiliates as well. So I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.